So often people say something like this, the Bible's such a big book, it's so complex. There are all these different authors and they seem to be saying all sorts of different things. How can I know what it's all about? Well, today I'd like with a short passage to tell you what it's all about. The passage is well known for many Christians. It is one of the most uh, or the most well-known passage of Holy Scripture. The passage is John chapter 3, verse 16. Nicodemus had come to Jesus by night, and Jesus now speaks the words of the gospel in a very short and distinct way. I'm Pastor Krause. I come to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, and I share with you these words. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. That's our focus. God is speaking. Not any God. Not this idea that all steeples point to heaven. Not that there's a little bit of truth in all the religions out there in the world. No, God, the one true God who has revealed himself as three persons in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This God loves. Love is a sort of nondescript word in the English language. We have a sexual kind of love that's reflected in, in Holy Scripture. And there is the love of, of friends that has nothing to do with sexuality, a platonic kind of love. Philadelphia is the city of brotherly love, supposedly. That's taken from the original Greek. It's a word phileo. But here the word in the original, it's also a word we use in English at times, is agape. God agaped the world. That is, his love is a divine kind of love, not a human kind of love. A love which seeks nothing in return goes beyond our comprehension. And this love is not an emotion, but it's an action verb. God so loved the world. Now, a reminder, that's all people in the world who have ever lived, will ever live, God so loved the world, and if God loves the world, a reminder today, then God loves me, and God loves you. He loved the world so much that he gave the most precious thing to him, his one and only son, Jesus Christ. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. We think about Jesus Christ and Normally, Jesus Christ is found to be in high opinion by people throughout the world. Jesus Christ and his life was perfect, was glorious. Jesus Christ is worthy of our study throughout our life. As we look at Jesus Christ, we see his beauty. We see his amazing love and so many aspects of that life. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. When we believe, that is, we put all our trust in Jesus. We sit down like we sit in a chair, and we trust that chair is going to hold us. We trust the promises of God. We trust the promises of God in the good times of life, but especially in the hard times of life. As a pastor, so often I find myself going to people who are on their deathbed, they're getting close to dying, and I speak to them the promises of eternal life in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Only Jesus can make such wonderful promises to us. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, even though he dies, yet shall he live, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. For Jesus says, because I live, you will live as well. What a comfort. This passage is spoken about as the gospel in a nutshell. The whole message of Holy Scripture here is summed up in this beautiful passage. And so I leave this passage with you today. This profound message of our God said in just these few words, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Praise God in your life today for the good news of Jesus Christ.